I have like a quick question. Okay, cause see, I'm really kind of illiterate and I'm real kind of slow. So, and then I kind of don't, I'm like, they like telling me when I look at the news, they telling me what uh, other countries are doing. And I see the United States of America doing the exact same thing. And th I don't get it. I just, I'm playing that game. Look at you. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yeah. And I get, I get sick of working on these games. I got me a tiny little old garden out there somewhere. So... And then I can sit in here and work these, and I get sick of working these, and I'm like, okay. It, but it make me want to go plant food, too, because I know damn well I got to eat. And now, that right there, I don't have everything I need to send that ship off. This is a huge supply for gla glass and shit. So I got to go over here to the glass workshop. I don't have enough sandstone. I can go right up in there, and I can dispatch some help. I can hire somebody to go do it for me. But it gonna cost me some energy. The energy don't, that the highest energy I'm gonna get is 60 right here. And, and the cost of energy is like, like through the roof, you know? 40-something, and I ain't got the 60, and I just logged into the game. I really ain't even played it long. It, but I can buy some energy. I can buy all the energy I want. And the cost to buy the energy to do the work, collect the food, and sell the shit that I ain't going to never see profits from is a bit overwhelming to me. You want my money. <laughs> I get it. I want your money, too. Yeah, I figure we be it. For you get some of mine. I get some of yours, and we keep it right on moving. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to play the game and work it for you, too, and click on them little old commercials and things like that, I want more energy, god damn it. Man, I got to buy energy. I ain't but 60 energy for this little difficult ass. It ain't difficult. It's quite fun. It's quite relaxing to be focused on something else other than my crazy. Okay. And what I was saying was, you know, war begets war. War is an act of violence, killing, mass killing, slaughter of anything in my path. When I start shooting, bombing, or whatever to get what I want. That's all I see. What is to get what I want. And if you are not a follower of me and what I want, and if you don't give it to me, I will kill you. And then we have these over here that say you. Hey, roll up on me all like that and just take what you want, buddy. You done came over here and you done kept first thing we finna do is exercise these demons the hell on. Boom. And then I think it's okay for me to go do that to people that ain't never did nothing to me. Ain't never even shared a conversation with. Now, what, the, what I got to do with what they doing and how they living. They, they, they ain't over here trying to tell me how to live. They ain't trying to tell me what I need to be doing, what I can say, who I can say it to, how loud I can say it, how quiet I can say it, how I can whisper, how you can't hide, I'll find you anywhere you go. And you can't even do this on the TV, on the radio. It's your fucking job to raise your children. Not Facebook, not Instagram, not TikTok, TikTok, TikTang, none of them things. It's your job as a parent. 
You know what's out there. You want to go out here and motherfucking censor everything that's on the internet so a motherfucker like me can't sit there and have a good-ass motherfucking look at something? Well, I want to hear whatever the fuck I want to hear over the internet if I want to motherfucking hear it. I want to know what the fuck is going on. How dare you try to stop us from the knowledge of knowing what is going on. It's your job to censor what your children see, not mine. Get your shit straight. Take them motherfucking devices away from your children. You don't want to allow that shit. Oh, I'm just going to let them have what they want to have. They're supposed to be able to have. They're independent. No, when they get to buying that shit for themselves, they're independent. No goddamn $100 allowance. They don't need all of that fucking shit. But goddamn children don't know how to motherfucking. I, I want it. Mine the same goddamn way. Motherfucker got too much. Too fucking much. And way too much motherfucking freedom. You know why they got so much freedom? Freedom comes from having everything. Having everything. All we had was a motherfucking book to look at. They shouldn't even have access to the internet. Not unless under the strict guidance and the supervision of their parents. Because them motherfuckers is really smart. And the school teach them how to back door in and how to work on all of that shit. And you think you know more. Yeah, them, you got them motherfuckers over there who trying to pick their head. What you know, what you know, how would you do this? Work this problem, work that problem. You watching the wrong motherfucking one. Everybody want to know how smart they are. I was going to bring them on over here, bring them on over here. The quicker they can take some of them and work their minds to make a new weapon. How would you kill that? <laughs> what would you do? How could you make that happen? Yeah. Yeah. What would you do? Ain't nobody say it got to be a bullet. It ain't got to be no bullet that they use to kill your motherfucking ass. <laughs> I have been going at that thing the whole wrong way. I thought the only way to kill was with a bullet. Hell to the no. Oh, many different ways. Many different tools. The act of war is to kill. What do I really need you for if everything runs itself? What do I need you for? Just a headache. You just something else I got to worry about going to try to kill me or get at me. We want them to know everything. We allow them. We allow, we allow people to push their way into everything. And they system and they organizations take away our freedom. Our sense of security. What you need to know all this shit for. All you need to know is how you motherfucking living. Y'all need to know if I'm paying my taxes. What I'm paying taxes for anyway. Y'all need to know. He sold me the land. That ain't got nothing to do with you. But it's their business. We can draw up our own contracts and have them notarized. We don't want to have become so dependent on an organization and a system to make everything work for us. And we ain't got to do nothing. Just let them have their way. Well, if they say so, if that if that's what they say, John, well, dear, I don't feel like, well, listen, listen. You heard the master. He said that uh, uh, you should not have a dark skin under yourself. The all faster you heard him when he said that they is cursed. Master said he cursed them and made them look like that. They ain't supposed to be dark. Everything's supposed to be white. We gotta be rid of them curses. Hallelujah, Master. We gon' kill them all. We gon' kill them all for you. We gon' get rid of all of them for you, Master. You ain't gonna do shit. You can't even get out of that motherfucking chair. Your ass out here on the fight in the war. Where Massa at? Let Massa go fight his own motherfucking wars. Because now I got him. 
be the one to wipe your stinking ass. You can't wipe it no more. He send you back here to me like this. This ain't how he took you away from here. And the walls rage on. Cursed. And I will curse your generation. I rebuke it. I rebuke that curse. Hallelujah. Holy Miasa. If they could grow seeds anywhere, not hatred. I want to turn it around. I want to take all of that. Because, see, it's the beginning of something. It's the beginning of something beautiful. It's the beginning of a new beginning for, for everybody. The ability to see what's going on. And to be able to judge for yourself and to not be told by someone else. And the ability to form my own opinion without being criticized for doing so. Hey, a new world, a new world. I don't know about anybody ordering it to happen. It's just the progression of a birth. Hey, we all got here through a birth from a sperm. We should be so much more far advanced than what we are with all the knowledge that we got out there today. And we ain't nowhere. God damn, we still living in the motherfucking dark ages. Only thing we ain't, only thing we got is some lives. The dark ages. We don't know. It's this dark. What is it? What is it though? Because it's still the same color as the darkness that did harm to you. It's still color in your mind, perhaps you're stigmatized. That it happened in the dark, it might have looked like a dark person that did it. But it wasn't really a dark person that did it. It was just that it was dark when it happened. Making one say some things less recognizable. And it just looks dark. It just look dark. And then in, in, in that darkness, there are fear. A lot of fear. A lot of things are done in darkness. A lot of little boys have been sexually abused and sexually molested. And then pointed at by the one that did it. You know, hey. He said he gonna tell, so he went out that door to that bus. Oh, let me go ahead on call him and tell him that he gay. I'm finna tell him he out John. He doing little nasty things. I'm gonna go ahead and get in front of that boy. You don't know, but yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's been having sex with some little boy here at the school. I know. The little boy, I caught him in the act. It could be two of the same little boys he messing with. Mm -hmm. What you want to go ahead on do is tarnish them. Oh, that was so forbidden. It was so forbidden to God burn down two cities. He was sitting on Mount Hellas. He was looking at them. They was just a fucking one another. And God could see from up there. And he began to throw fire down. He must have had a mighty motherfucking high. High, high powered telescope. We all know what telescopes and satellite dishes is. We all done seen Donald Trump showed us how to use a motherfucking drone. I'm so motherfucking idiotic and so stupid till I just feel like a lot of this technology has been here, been here, and just repeating itself. With the slaughtering of each civil different civilizations, civil civilization, and just continuing to repeat itself over and over and over and over again, just killing down the earth because we don't know what will build up. All we know is there's a whole lot of rubble that now has been torn down. We don't know what's hidden under that. A, a lot of that rubble, and we're not allowed to um, go dig, not unless we some archaeologists. This is, and the archaeologists list, archaeologist, archaeologist, the 
archaeologist, archaeologist, archaeologist. Mm -hmm. I did make fun of him. Archaeologist. Mm -hmm. Why come you got the motherfucking right to go rob graves and shit? Call it the study of bullshit. You ain't got no more business in nobody's graves than I do. Not without permission. If the family say nay, nay shall it be. Bam. Some judges will let people have their way. Yes. What was he standing to profit? If you do something that's wrong for wrong for me, then it's wrong for him too. We need to be more fairly treated. We hear about all the harsh treatments that have been done to us, but we've not been told why. Why? And we've not been given no valid reason because clearly the first, is it even? I'm not for sure which one it is, but it said, Thou shalt not kill. Shall not. No. No killing. Gotta be able to communicate better. No killing. Thou shalt not kill. You gotta be able to talk about I don't give what kind of sorry sack zombie shit he is. That's him. They ain't got nothing to do with you. Thou shalt gotta learn how to communicate better. Thou shalt not kill. Thou gotta learn how to communicate better. Mm -mm. Thou shalt not kill. No, 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 no. No killing. No, no, no. No weapon formed shall prosper. None shall prosper. No more killing. No more killing. I rebuke the killings. I rebuke it. Those that killing, those that commit mass killings, help them to be found more uh, accounted for their actions. Let there be more accountability. Nope, nope, nope. All fractions. Break every chain. Break every way. Use every letter, every language, everything against thine self. That if thine would kill me, then thine must be willing to kill thine self too. Is that what they say? Thou shalt not kill. Mm -mm. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. No killing, no killing, no killing, no killing, no killing, no killing, no killing. Just to have your fucking way. You want to take what somebody else got. And then when they want to try to stand their ground, you want to say they shouldn't stand up against you. They should just move. No. Stop it. I'm tired of it. They're recruiting people to do your dirty work for you. We don't know what the fuck won't be fed to you if you run your mouth too much. Ain't nobody got a motherfucking shoot you to get you. It ain't got to be done that way. And the wars rage on. And the people die. And we should be able to live a long, beautiful, merry life. Our technology should be so great that, God damn it, we could almost step on the motherfucking moon. But no, the Tower of Babel tow it all down. We can't have that. Probably natural rocking that earth built through up, 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 built up, not collapsing and falling down, drying up, up, like a complete eye. When I see the earth, I see an eye, and it will build up around us in, in like the chambers under the ground and the waters and the pools. And wars tow it down. Because we don't know what was up before the wars. We don't know what was up. All we know is that it's been torn down. How can we rebuild a world where none shall perish and none shall have the threat of war brought against them? And we wouldn't want to. What do the, the Jehovah's call it? A new earth? But their prediction is that it's not going to be that many people who want to live that life. And because of that, many lives are being lost. And, and when will we get there so that every place will be a garden of Eden once more? And it shall be built up. 
and not torn apart with the act of war. Murdering. All because I want the gold in them hills. We're going to tear that whole hill down. Can you imagine a gold hill? That's all we can motherfucking do is imagine it. Because the golden hills done been torn down. Can they be rebuilt? Can we build them back? Can we take all the gold that we don't use? And just take it and sprinkle it out here in the ground. This we gotta worry about who gonna steal the shit. Can we see if we can grow back the diamonds? All the diamonds are just sitting there, ain't nobody really using them. Some people really don't care about that shit, no way. Give them one little old diamond, they'll be happy on a motherfucker for the rest of their life. Oh, that is so pretty. How many carrots you said that is? You said that's 12 carrots. Why so many carrots? Because I didn't want to break the rock up, bitch. And now you still complaining. I gave you 12 carrots and you're saying it's too much. <laughs> Won't never be satisfied with nothing, okay? What can I do? <laughs> is what I asked myself. And then I said, well, you know, you're afraid that if somebody kill you if you open your mouth up to them the wrong way. <laughs> and I am. And that, too, um, is toxic. Because that's how a lot of us live. I know I ain't the only one. We walk around here and we don't see the world because we don't want to be seen. Because we're afraid that they will do something to us. And then at the same time, we want to be seen and we want to be heard. And we want you to know that we exist and how we feel. And we want to help build it up as we go along. We want to nurture the plains and the fields. We want to watch over the little children as we walk in and out of the grocery store. That are not our children. But somehow in our heart, we know, hey, we's a community. We's the same kind. We watch over them as we walk in here into our vehicle because we make sure we don't run over them. We make sure other cars don't run over them. You watching other people cheering while they, they run. Hey, they running. They going that way, you know? And when I see Discovery Channel and I see the animals watching over and fighting for everybody else's children, I'm told that it's just nature. It's nature. It's nature made that we are supposed to watch over each other's, making sure, you know. A human should not be the predator that coming to get me. It should be a lion, a tiger, or a bear, or a shark that I'm worried about. It shouldn't be another human. Not my kind. That's how I know that the earth is sick right now. And we need healing throughout the land. Because we killing each other. We sick in the head. We not supposed to kill one another. We not supposed to kill one another. That's viral. That's viral. We need to be trying to heal the earth. Because we are the earth. We part of the earth. That's what we live inside of. The earth feed us. Like the red blood cells, the white blood cells, the fluids, the waters, the tissues, the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments. All of that needs blood through the system to make it work. And so the earth needs the same thing. And we don't live in blood cells that work throughout this earth to help keep the earth clean. And our abilities are a little bit different than the the cows, the horses, the rhinoceroses. I don't know. Maybe they can stand on their hind legs and type on keypad, and they can build up some water so that the waters can travel through pipes and that the waters can keep moving through channels so that none would go without water. And, and places like that were bombed 
to take water away from lands where people had technology that was just not brand new. They had systems in place where waters was running from places off into the land, just like a lot of irrigations and and where rivers were filled, ran through. But the rivers were closed in. It, when, when you drop a bomb, well, everything... Everything turns to rubble. Water can't get through that. And the earth is impacted by that. And the act that we even do it to other people, and I don't care how far you are from it so that you don't have to look at it, doesn't mean you are not responsible for what happened to the earth and all that inhabited it, that area and for the destruction of the area that you did. War begets war. There shall be no more wars. I command. I'm I'm your commander in motherfucking chief. You better stop all of that bullshit now, you hear me? Power. There shall be peace. There shall be peace through it. There shall be love. Glory. Hallelujah. I believe in healing. Oh, I, I believe. I believe in healing, 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 healing. We have to want to. We have to want to. I want for it to happen. I will for it to happen. I believe that it's going to happen. There shall be healing, healing, healing. Thou shall not kill. Let there be healing. Everybody should know how to do CPR. It should not be a penny associated with learning how to do CPR. Yep. Every mama should know what to do to save her little baby before she leave that hospital. Arm her. Arm her likewise. Have a licensed CPR person up in there to help teach her CPR. So that she can know. Don't encourage them to put their baby way off in separate rooms. If you ain't going to let the little bundle of joy sleep in the bed, which at least put it right there beside you. So that if it gets strangled, you can have it. And you can sell it. And you can sell it if it's better, if it's closer to you. Because you done had to. Well, they can't sleep with you. What if you roll over on top of them? You done had that little old baby in your belly for nine months. Nine months. Cushioning it. And and you gonna feel it. Did your mind still feel it there? You gonna still feel it there. You know, we the only species that take our babies and put them off from us right after birth. Take them away. It should be more of in room. Even if it's just a hallway behind the room where the nurses can come in. Everything. Everything along those walls that the mothers and the parents don't have access to, where they can come in and do everything so that that baby ain't never taken away out of his mama's possession, out of his mom's eyesight at all times. Ensuring that baby a top flight start off. Yeah, you can learn the baby on the backside of the medical experience. On the way, you can help the mama over him in here. When it's medical then, they're teaching her how to breastfeed. That should be like an intimate thing. Grandmamas don't even know how to breastfeed because they got baby bottles. They had to go to the field. They had to find a way for the babies to eat. And the caregivers and the care providers. And the kings and the queens do nothing. Everybody else do it, do it, do it for them. Everything is given, making them sell. Sell, 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 sell. And not wanting to do anything for themselves. Not even be guided by their own parents. But the parent telling someone else what they child got to do. You know? It, it was hard for me being that far away from my children when they were growing up for that long period of time. I wanted to have them with me at all times and around them at all times. I think that the schoolhouses should be smaller and closer to home. And parents should be able to work somewhere closer to home. Be able to help just the land. 
make sure that the land what they living on is clean and the things that we can do at go do through agricultural and canning canning from home small smaller little sewing factories smaller companies but we shouldn't have to worry about the government the government shouldn't have anything at all to do with it if we need to get per uh, uh, uh ins get it inspected you know we have to pay for that inspector you shouldn't come here telling me well, why i didn't and you didn't call i no, wait a minute wait a minute brother you can't just walk up on me like that i come to you when i'm ready I come to you to let you inspect this and inspect. You don't tell me that I got to go through you just to build on my own land. No, dude, you ain't put down penny in this land. And you shouldn't be able to get not one penny out. We hire them to come out and inspect. Inspect the land. What they do, And they should not, because we have to pay them to come inspect. We should not have to keep on paying taxes over and over and over and over and over and over again. We shouldn't have people. We hire you to come here and do a job. That's it. You need to keep right on moving just like everybody else. Don't nobody else get none of my money. I should not have to keep giving it to them. I don't care how many billions of dollars that they got. We have all of the supplies and the tools and everything that we need out here to keep going and to keep building up. No more tearing down. I rebuke it. I rebuke it from the lands. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear sweetheart, for providing with me everything that I need. I thank you for shielding me last night while I slept and allowing me to wake up to a brand new day, a brand new on the other side of the moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessings to you. Hallelujah. Let there be healing throughout the lands. Amen.